Hey guys, Ryan here, and in this video, I'm going to show you a quick, easy, and most important, a safe way of removing the pre installed software that typically comes with Windows 11. So, I've been using Windows 11 since it came out in October this year, and for the most part, it's been a positive experience, especially when it comes to HDR support, which is really something that Linux sorely lacks. That being said, much like Windows 10 before it, Windows 11 does come with quite a lot of pre installed software. Now, I use the pro version of Windows 11, so I don't get all that ridiculous software like Candy Crush and Farmville and all that jazz. Uh, instead, what I normally get is just Microsoft Develop software. Now, this is software that I'm never going to use, so what I normally do is manually remove this unwanted software using the Add Remove Settings application, but there is a better way of doing this. And this is using a piece of software called Erner's App Buster. Now this is a GUI tool that will allow you to select pre-installed software that comes with Windows 11 and then remove it in bulk. You can download AppBuster from the owner website simply by clicking the big green download button. Now the application itself doesn't need to be installed onto your system and can actually be launched by just double clicking the exe file. So the user interface of AppBuster is straightforward. So all the pre-installed software is listed on the left hand side. So to select for removal you need to simply tick the entry and then click the remove button at the bottom. Now, if you've got system restore enabled on your system, then a restore point will be created before you remove any software. Alternatively, you can create one manually by going to the top and going to actions, and then create a system restore point. So in this example, I'm going to remove Cortana. I've selected it and I click remove. From here, I have option of either remove for the current user, all users, or the machine. Now, since I'm the only user on my system, I'm going to choose the latter option, which is for machine. Then click OK. And then create a system restore point. So once the process is completed, you should get a message stating that the uninstallation was successful. At this point, I tend to just restart my system to finish the process. So as I mentioned earlier, I've had a great experience with Windows 11 so far, but this insistence of pre-installed software does tend to rub people the wrong way, and is often used as a reason for people to try out Linux. Still, at least with software such as AppBuster, it does make the process of removing pre-installed software, especially in Windows 11, just a simple affair. Either way, with that, it brings this video to an end. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and if you found this video helpful, then please do consider leaving a like, subscribe to the channel for more content like this in the future, and I'll see you again in the next one. Bye now.